So at Portolona Marina, and it's huge. Walk in the pooches. There's a big boat yard here. There's some um, big ship, which is a Chandler's. There's Eric Marine, and an electronics place, and of course, big boat yard. It's a bit industrialised, but um, we're going to see over there. I can zoom in. It's a big sand and gravel works, and reportedly lots of dust comes off it, but we haven't had any. I guess the wind's blowing in the uh, in the wrong direction for that. A lovely sunny day. So we're gonna go and get a coffee and a croissant now. Lovely. Today I'm gonna to show you how to tie a bowling. So I've taken a piece of line, it's not a rope. We don't have ropes on a boat. We have halyards that pull things up, sheets that pull things out, and we have lines that you pull on. Uh, we also have roads. This line is going to go into a bowling really quick. I'll show you how to do it. Take the free end in your left hand, take the rest of the line in your right hand and rotate the line away from you. That forms a loop where the end of the line is on top. You take the end of the line, you push it through that loop, round the rest of the line and then back down through the loop. Bowling really easy. Once again, free end, left hand, rest of the line, right hand, turn the rope away from you to form a loop, come up through the loop with the free end, back round the rest of the line and then back down through the loop. And that is a bowling. One problem with the bowling is that um, if it's not under pressure, it will actually come undone, which means it's good if you want to get it undone and the rope's under tension. However, um, it's not good if the rope isn't kept under tension. Really easy way to tie a bowling. Last time, free end, rest of the line, loop away from you, up through the hole, round the back of the tree, back down the hole. Bunny goes down the hole. Simple, hope it helps. There's cafes, bars, toilets and showers, and in there there is a laundrette. Now, measuring our boat with uh, an elastic tape measure, um, we're 37 foot. And the cost was 24 euros 18 cents per night so that's really good value that's at least half the cost of the equivalent in the UK the French are really keen on these um, little single engine fishing boats and they go out day fishing and weekends there's a lot of them about really popular but this one caught our eye how long has that been sitting there? And um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got some unique aerials on it. Yep, sticks. Absolutely covered in growth. This is the local lifeboat. Interesting bow it's got on it. Now, now on the big ships, the bulbous bell helps um, break down the bow wave. That to me looks like it's really ready to do some damage. You wouldn't want that coming at you at 25 knots. If someone can tell us in the doobie doo below, but it doesn't look to me like that's self-writing either. 
I could be wrong. There's Impavidus. Kicked out. All kitted out for our cruise down to the med. And there's a little dog poking its face over there. Look at its beauty over here. What a lovely boat. Just going to get a bit closer. That is gorgeous. Another old lifeboat. Knot number two, clove hitch. Really easy to tie, but two ways to tie it, either open or closed. The first way is really easy. Make a loop, go under. Make a loop, go under again. Cross the two loops over. Really easy. Now, if you've got something to put that clove hitch over, like that, that's the best way to tie it, really quick. If you want to make that loop more secure, put another hitch in by simply going round again and back through the loop. That makes that really secure. So, if you have something which is closed and you want to tie a clove hitch, there's another way to do it. But first, I have to find something that's closed to show you how to tie. I'll get my assistant. Cindy! Yeah. My charming assistant is now holding the broom so I can demonstrate the clove hitch. Go over, cross over, go over again, and come back through the loop you've made. Clovich. Really easy. Do it again. Cross over. Come under. And then, see, back through that loop. And to make it more secure, do the same again. Good strong knot. Easy. Thank you, charming assistant. <laughs> You're going to do what with the broom? <laughs> we make these videos for you, so please like, subscribe and comment below. Suggestions and questions are always welcome. Sail safe. Bye. Bye.